Quick preface, before I begin this video, I realized I did a little bit of pre-rating and I realized that I really didn't have the heart to throw any more of the letters into E or F tier. So I think, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna kind of get rid of those. There you go. Okay, yeah. All right, uh, let's continue with the video now. So way back in episode two, I said that C and K were way too similar sound-wise and that I would drop C from the alphabet if I had the chance. I still stand with that. K just picked up a sound and went with it. I respect that. K is about the most jagged letter there is, both in design and in its spitty sound. You know, k, k, kraken. Uh, it would definitely be the punk rocker of the letters. K sometimes just doesn't pay attention and so forgets to make a noise at the start of the word, which is okay, it can kind of be a pain, but you know, it's okay, we all make mistakes. Uh, a little note that I would like to add about its design is that if I had to design the alphabet from scratch, I wouldn't have given K its upper stick. It just kind of ruins the flow and writing, and you really don't need it to distinguish it from the other letters. Anyways, I give K a solid and comfy spot in C tier. Kind of like F, L is probably the second most memed of all the letters, so again, extra points. Design-wise, it suffers doppelganger syndrome along with the rest of the straight line group. Personally, I'm fine with uppercase L, although I would understand if somebody wanted to make it be more unique. Lowercase L, however, seriously needs something more. Here are some of my personal doodles for a redesign. Uh, I think L's sound is spot on. It's unique, but not too hard to make, and it's just kind of fun to move your tongue around in that way. So yeah, A tier for you, L. A fine job. So M. M is a nice and soft sound. It's hard to scream out an M. Uh, I think all the upper and lowercase M's match very well, which puts them up on the list. A little design note, M is a bit of a wide fellow, and if at all possible, I would compress M along with W somehow, because expressing them in an 8-ish bit display is a total nightmare. Uh, M overall is a fine letter, and it works out well in English, but it doesn't stand out tremendously. To me, it seems like M is just happy to do its job, go home at the end of the day, and have a nice cup of tea as it repeats itself over and over. There's not much wrong with it, so we'll throw it in B tier. Okie dokie, last one for today. N. Uh, I like its design. It's angular, unique, fashionable. Uh, its sound is decent enough, kind of like M, it's hard to yell an N. I kind of wish English had some of N's siblings, like nya and nya, but whatever. Uh, my design tip, give lowercase n a little sticky uppy bit on the other side as well. I think it would help distinguish it from lowercase h. Uh, n and o form the second non acronym word in the alphabet, hi being the first, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. And you get a spot in B tier, right along with your buddy M. And that has been episode 4 of Widdershins Ranks the Alphabet. I am Widdershins of the Squadcast. Have a lovely day.